in year five, hope you're all well. It is Monday, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. The weather's definitely brightened up for us. I hope you spent some time outside uh, and just had a little rest from the home learning for the weekend. So we left it on Friday at a bit of a cliffhanger really um, with Edward Tulane going overboard. So I guess in this next chapter, we're going to find out more about um, what is going to happen next. Um, so just have a little think about what we know about the characters so far. We've got Aveline and Edward, we've got Pellegrina, the grandmother, we've got mum and dad of Aveline, and then we've got the two brothers, um, Martin and Amos, who um, obviously are on the ship. They have gone, um, they've got on the ship to go to London, is where their destination is, um, but obviously she's, um, Aveline has met these two boys and they didn't take very well to Edward. Um, and they thought it would be a very good game. I'm sure like some of you boys know with your brothers being mischievous, they thought it would be a very good idea to play a game of catch. That hasn't ended very well because the end sentence of the last chapter, chapter five said, instead, Edward Tulane went overboard. Okay, so chapter six is a picture there. I wonder if that's his boater. That's how I was describing a boater hat the other day. It's like a woven kind of straw hat with a rim on. Brim? Brim? Brim. I think it's called a brim. How does a china rabbit die? Can a china rabbit drown? Is my hat still on my head? These were the questions that Edward asked himself as he went sailing out over the blue sea. The sun was high in the sky, and from what seemed to be a very long way away, Edward heard Abilene call his name. Edward! she shouted. Come back! Come back? Of all the ridiculous things to shout, thought Edward. As he tumbles, tumbled ears over tail through the air, he managed to catch one last glimpse of Abilene. She was standing on the deck of the ship, holding onto the railing with one hand. In her other hand was a lamp. No, it was a ball of fire. No, Edward realised. It was his gold pocket watch that Abilene held in her hand. She was holding it up high and it was reflecting the light of the sun. My pocket watch, he thought. I need that. And then Abilene disappeared from view and the rabbit hit the water with such tremendous force that his hat blew off his head. That answers the question, thought Edward as he watched the hat dance away on the wind. And he began to sink. He sank and sank and sank. He kept his eyes open the whole time, not because he was brave, but because he had no choice. His painted on eyes witnessed the blue water turning to green and then to blue again. They watched as it finally became black. As night. And that's a picture of them sailing off. It is a bit like a bit like the Titanic, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, is that the end of that chapter? No, one little bit left. Edward went down and down. He said to himself, If I'm going to drown, certainly I would have done so by now. Far above him, the ocean liner with Abilene on board it sailed blithely on, and the China rabbit landed finally on the ocean floor, face down, and there with his head in the muck, he experienced his first genuine and true emotion. Edward Tulane was afraid. Okay, so a very short chapter um, for chapter six. So obviously a lot has changed as far as Edward um, flying overboard. But I just want you to have a little think before you go ahead and do the questions for today. I know it's only, like I said, just a very short chapter. I'll just do a few questions to go along with that. I just want you to have a little think about how Edward as a character has changed. So the impression we got from him at the beginning of the story, um, the kind of words that were used, the way the authors used to describe him, uh, his clothing, his kind of um, snobby, could we say, personality in some senses, um, and how obviously the, um, the actions that have just taken place and him going overboard, um, the, that chapter has just ended saying he is um, genuinely um, afraid. So that's quite a big statement, isn't it? Um, and quite a big change in our characters. I've got to think about how Abilene might be feeling back on the boat. Um, but I won't say too much more because they will be on your home learning for today. Okay, so enjoy. I hope you're liking the book. I really like this book, actually. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what gonna, what's going to happen next. So I will see you tomorrow. See ya!